has Roots never been made into a Disney film? That's what I want to know. I think the simple answer is that the story makes no sense whatsoever. No one would believe this story. It's literally the opposite of a rags to riches story. She starts off as a beautiful, wealthy princess of Moab. She lives in a castle, she has maids, she has servants, she's got it all going for her. Why would she give up everything and suddenly become this like very poor Jewish convert with no money, nothing to her name, to go back to a land where they just had the famine, there was very little food. It doesn't really make any sense. What was she thinking? There's more than that to the story. If you look into Riss's background, who actually was she? Her father was King Eglon. He was the king of Moab. And for her whole childhood, Moab was at war with the Jewish people. They were public enemy number one. Not only that, what happened to her father? He was killed by Ehud, who was the shofate of the Jewish people, the judge at the time. He went and killed him in a very gruesome way. He plunged a sword into his stomach and killed him. So she actually had every reason to hate the Jewish people. Not only that, she's also a descendant of Bollock, who we know hated the Jews because he spent a lot of his life plotting on how to curse them and ruin them. So growing up, she was probably taught that the Jews were awful, that she has to hate them, that they are her enemies. She was probably taught to hate everything that Jewish people and Judaism represented. And yet, when she comes across her first actual real life Jewish family, she realizes, well, hang on a minute, everything I've been told isn't quite right. I actually really like this family and there's something very appealing about them. Can't quite put my finger on it and it doesn't actually say in the story why she decided to marry um, into a Jewish family and why she decided to then later on convert and become Jewish. But there was something that drew her in. She managed to overcome everything that she ever knew, everything she'd been brought up on, and make this very brave decision to leave behind all of her wealth and to embrace Judaism against all odds, against everything that she's ever known. And obviously at the time, she had no idea how this was going to end up. She doesn't know that she's going to be the main person in this Megillah that we're all reading that thousands of years later thousands of people around the world are going to be telling her stories she was just a person she was just a girl making this huge life-changing decision she didn't know that she was going to be the grandmother of all the Jewish kings that David HaMelech was going to be her great-grandson that Moshiach was going to be descended from her she just took the plunge and made a big huge decision and I think it just goes to show that, you know, sometimes we feel that we're held back by, you know, what society tells us that we are, or our background, or our upbringing, or what other people think that we are. And we struggle to make decisions just because of everything that's come beforehand. Riss is the prime example. She shows us the way and she shows us Anyone can become anything. You can't let your past determine your future. You need to decide what's right for you. So with that in mind, I hope you have a very special and a very learned and inspiring Shavuos. And that if there's anything that you've been thinking about doing that you weren't sure about, just go for it. Be a Rus.